In the ongoing conflict between Israel and Palestine, as well as Russia and Ukraine, deadly bombs known as white phosphorus bombs are being used, and they are making a lot of news worldwide. These bombs are so harmful, and cause so much pain that they are being compared to chemical weapons. With the help of 3D animation, we'll see how the white phosphorus bomb works. This is an MA25WP projectile, where WP stands for white phosphorus. It is a 155 mm base eject, spin-stabilized, airburst artillery projectile, which are launched from heavy artilleries such as the M114 and M109 howitzers. It was mainly designed to work as a smoke bomb. It was never intended to be used as an incendiary weapon. But, after looking at the physical and psychological damage it does to people, Many countries around the world are using this bomb on civilians. It weighs around 102.6 pounds and is 35.4 inches in length. It can be easily identified by its light green color with a yellow band and light red markings on it. On the top, it has an MTSQ fuse. MTSQ stands for Mechanical Time Super Quick Fuse. It is used to trigger the expulsion charge, which is placed right below it. It can be set to trigger the explosion anywhere between 2 to 200 seconds after firing. The projectile is not always armed with the fuse. Most of the time they have an eye bolt attached for safety and logistic purposes. A delay detonator is placed behind the expulsion charge in front of a steel canister and it has a delay of 100 milliseconds. This steel canister is hermetically sealed meaning it is so tightly closed that no air can leave or enter the canister. Inside the canister, white phosphorus felt wedges are stored. They are 3 by 4 of an inch and are cut in this shape. 29 of these felt wedges are placed in each of the four rows. A total of 116 are stored in the canister. The white phosphorus is a pyrophoric material, meaning it starts to burn immediately when it's exposed to air. It burns fiercely and can ignite cloth, fuel, ammunitions, and other combustibles. They stick like wax, which makes it difficult to remove them, and when they are exposed to air, they burn spontaneously, while producing dense white smoke made of phosphorus pentoxide, which makes it almost impossible to see through the smoke. The smoke itself is not very toxic. They smell like garlic and will cause burning sensation in the eyes and nose when inhaled. The white phosphorus felt wedges are placed on an X-shaped rib made of aluminum and are separated by thin separators which are also made of aluminum. Finally, a 21.2 gram high explosive burster is placed in the middle of the X-shaped rib. Now let's see how it works. This is an M109 155 mm turreted self-propelled howitzer. Israel has used this howitzer in the 1973-1982 in the 2006 conflict. It has an effective firing range of 11.2 to 14.6 miles, has a traverse of 360 degrees, and can fire up to four rounds every three minutes. The 155 mm MA25 artillery rounds can be fired from this howitzer. The MTSQ fuse is set and the round is placed inside the breech and is fired towards the target area. In this case, the target area is a group of populated buildings. The round moves towards the target while spinning for increased stability. The MA25 round is an airburst round. It can explode in the air before even touching the target. The MTSQ fuse is set in such a way that it triggers the expulsion charge when the round is at an altitude of 80 to 100 meters above and a bit behind the target. When the expulsion charge is set off, the outer casing of the shell is ejected out. 100 milliseconds later, the delay detonator sets off the high explosive burster inside the canister, which explodes and opens the hermetically sealed canister, 
exposing all the white phosphorus felt wedges to air. The white phosphorus wedges burns fiercely and immediately when exposed to air while emitting dense white smoke while they fall on the target area, covering an elliptical shaped area on the ground. When they are falling, they look like a spectacular fireworks show, but after falling, it's utter destruction. The angle at which the wedges exit the casing is known as opening angle. If the opening angle is large, then more area is covered on the ground. The burning felt wedges can reach temperatures up to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit, turning almost everything they touch into ash. They can burn anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes, and they are highly soluble in fat. Because of this, they can easily penetrate through human flesh and can expose the burnt areas down to the bone. They stick like wax, which makes it difficult to get rid of them. They can be stopped by pouring water on them, but lots of water and lots of patience are required. If not stopped on time, within minutes they can burn down an entire house and the neighboring house as well. Regardless of the primary motivation for the military use of airburst phosphorus munitions, their deployment in urban environments puts the civilian population at greater risk of death or severe burn injuries. These bombs are neither considered as chemical weapons nor as other illegal weapons, but it's time to put them under one of these categories before we see more civilian casualties. Thank you for watching.